Hello. Oh, guys, don't bark every just because I said hello. Okay, let's start over again. Felix and Inks. After that, it'll be glitter. Balance. Thank you, Mr. Demille. You just made the camera shake, and now I got to start over again. Hi there, Lonnie. Coming to you from the studio, another dispatch. We are working on the finishes of the paper mache. We've been having so much fun though that I'm realizing that I need to break these finished videos into a bunch, a few, like five, because I don't want these videos to be too long. So we are going to do base coats and then gilding. And after gilding, it will be acrylic and inks, then on to glitter, Valentini, and finally, um, Gilder's Paste. So let's start with base coats. Wear your mask. Put on a mask every time. For inking or craft paint, things that I want to keep matte and that I want the color to really soak in, I have coated these pieces with the uh, loaded gesso. For copper leafing, I just put a coat of um, primers and uh, glossy wood tone just to have a nice rich color underneath the leaf. For gold leaf I'm choosing a yellow base again with some uh, walnut stain um, spray. For metallic finish I'm starting with just a brown red brown primer. For the rust surface I'm starting with red brown primer as well. For the pinata inks and or transparent acrylics, I'm starting with a glossy silver finish. Um, these will be silver leafed and then inked. I've black washed these pieces in order to go dark to light. This should really bring out the details in some of these molds. For pieces that are gonna be glittered, I've simply primed the pieces, these will probably all get painted. As usual, thanks for visiting. I'll see you next time. You gotta put on a mask. Always put on a mask.